and this is now the before image and the after so i actually like this edit the choke who they breathe <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute. I missed you guys as much as you guys missed me and I hope you guys missed me. So we've been gone for a couple of months off YouTube and we're finally back. Well, I'm glad to say I'm finally back. I hope I stick to it this time. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the website, the desktop presets, the mobile presets. Shout out to anyone who's bought the preset already. Thank you guys for always supporting the brand. So I'm going to put a timestamp on where you can just, you know, skip to in case you don't want to watch the entire thing. But I hope you guys actually watch the entire thing because... All right, so for the website, yeah, we designed the website to, you know, to be user friendly and I mean, to look more aesthetically pleasing. So from the homepage, you can see it's just a simple, simple homepage. We have our featured on. Uh, these are top sites where we have actually been featured on. It's Insider, the Bella Ninja, Paperless, and also Brides. And here we have our blog post. The website is really, really interesting. Let me take you guys through it real quick. So here at the bottom on this spot, this is our Instagram post. So every time we make a post on Instagram, it updates this platform. So for whoever is not following us on Instagram, you can legit see it here. So the portfolio right here is where you get to see our work, weddings and engagement. I wouldn't want to go through it to save time. Um, this is the fun section, information. So in information, you get to see your photographers, myself and my second photographer, Henry, with our bio and also our approach. This leads you to the approach we're taking because to be honest, we're changing a lot of things right now. From the second half of the year, July to December, we're taking a few weddings. And from next year, we'll be taking really few our weddings, if I like to put it like that. So you can read through our approach, frequently asked questions. So if you don't want to call, you probably get answers to questions you have already on the website. Featured testimonials, blogs. And this is one of my favorite parts, the wedding stories. So a couple of months ago, we put out on our social media platforms that anyone could send in love stories. It could be fictional or real stories, and we we're going to put them up on the website. So here, I just wanted it to be a chill spot on the website where you can just come and read stories written by random people on the internet. Um, most of them are quite interesting. They're, they're actually quite interesting to read. And you can also leave a comment and like, I hope, I don't want to promise, I hope I keep updating this every month at least. And this is the contact section where I actually like the fact that we updated this and it's more interactive. Ooh, we actually featured the Indimi sisters on here. So here you get to select who is actually contacting us, the bride, the groom, the planner, or anybody else. Um, you fill out the form, your first name, last name, email address, Instagram handle, your phone number, date, wedding location, reception, reception location and this is one from part i like tell us about your wedding we've gotten a couple of emails from people who have already submitted this form for booking and i must tell you i actually like the fact that you guys are being interactive with it so you get to tell us about yourselves how you met we've read a couple of stories that are funny they are just adorable so please i would like you guys to engage this page tell us about yourself and what you like about our work you can all feel that let our heads swell small. All right, so the exciting part is the shop. I'm really excited about this because now I get to do my Igbo man self and sell you guys stuff to buy. So for now, we have the bed grade 10 preset pack for Lightroom, the bed grade 4 preset pack for Lightroom desktop, and the mobile preset pack that anyone can use now. So you don't have to be a professional photographer to use the mobile preset pack. I'm really excited about this store because I'm not only going to be selling presets, obviously. We're going to have different things in the store, merch where you can buy branded stuff from us and probably anything I come up with later to sell. So it's going to be on the store. So I'm really excited that we have one house, a website where you're just in-house, where you can shop stuff and everything is just done under one roof. With that being said, let's get into the reason why we're making this video, the presets. So for the bed grade preset 2021, I'm going to go through individual presets and show you how to use them. I put this out for anyone who wants to upgrade their editing skills, who wants to grade better, this preset pack, trust me, it's for you. And one thing you have to note is that I created this preset to suit 
our skin tone because you probably wouldn't find this anywhere now in Nigeria. You're probably going to get a preset from someone abroad who isn't really shooting our kind of skin tone. So this preset is really going to be suitable for our skin tone, light skin, dark skin as well. So going through them, I'm going to show you how to edit banger photos with one click away and making really, really few adjustments in Lightroom. Thank you so much for anyone who has purchased and who will purchase these presets. Thank you for supporting the brand, putting food on my table. Thank you so much. So one thing you should note is that the outcome of a preset applied to a photo is highly dependent on the quality of the actual photo taken. So you should know that you're not just going to put out this preset or click the preset on each photo. If it wasn't taken properly, it's not going to come out looking nice. So you still need to do a little more adjustments if the pictures were not taken properly. So it's very, very important that the quality of the pictures, your exposure is done right on camera for the presets to look nice. Um, with reference, you can also, I mean, check our previous videos on YouTube. So you see how I shoot, how I expose. So you know that I'm actually shooting so good on camera for my presets to actually look good on Lightroom. So once you get your preset packs sent out to you, you're going to download them and you're going to get them in a zipped file just like this. All you have to do now is unzip the file. So with the Mac, all I do is just double tap and you get the folder you can see with your presets all here. So now to install in Lightroom, you fire up Lightroom. Other people will have a way on installing their presets, but all I do is just make sure I have a picture popped up and I go to the developed section. I come here to the left with this plus sign, add new presets. Once you tap on it, it's going to show you create presets, import presets. So all you have to do obviously is to import the presets. So now you have to find out where your preset is saved. It's probably been your downloads, but mine is in desktop, like I said. So I come here and I just click on the folder, not the zipped files, the actual folder. And I select all my presets, all 10 presets and import. It takes a while, but then you can see it now on the left side of your screen, the badge grade pack 2021 is being updated to your Lightroom. Congratulations. So now we have everything, all the presets listed out. Beige, BG Cold Black, BG Shadow Kill, BG Subtle Green, BG Vibrant, Vintage Black, Gucci, Buka, Chimax, Dorothy. These names are going to sound familiar. Fun fact, I actually named my presets, some of the presets after women close to me, my mom, my sisters. Okay, uh, let's move on. That is, <laughs> that's not why we're here. Okay, so you're going to get all 10 preset packs listed out on the side. Um, I mean, that's it for installation. If you can't install it this way, I'm sure there are pretty much a lot of videos on YouTube where you can watch to know how to install on your site. But this is how I install my presets every time. Okay, so now after you have the presets installed, let me just take you through real quick on how to, you know, use them and select the best preset for the image. Like I said, the picture has to be properly, properly taken, exposed right for the presets to actually look good without so much adjustments. All right, so um, if you can see by the left side of the screen, when I toggle through the presets, you can see they actually change and you decide on the one that best suits the picture. Um, I don't think I like this one. It's too orange. Um, nope, nope, nope. Yes, so Dorothy looks good on this preset. If you're comfortable with this without changing anything, you can just literally export the image like this. But if you still want to tweak in some, you know, do a little bit of changes on this picture to just make it look really, really defined, what I'll do is just probably reduce the highlights because I think the highlights on her white dress is popping so much. I'll just probably come here and reduce the highlights. And don't forget, you can actually use this brush tool to paste you know, to just move around on the face to increase the exposure on the face. This is just me letting you know that the presets when pasted on the pictures do not make the picture perfect. You still have to do an adjustment. You still have to even go to Photoshop to grade if you're someone who, you know, focuses on grading just like I am. 
But this is just to give you an idea of how much work you still have to do when you preset to paste it. But I think I'm very comfortable with this particular image. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so for detailed shots like shoes, rings, um, I think I usually use BG um, Shadow Kill for pictures like this to pop out the greens. Let's see what it looks like. Oof, I actually like it. I actually like this. I would actually leave this image like this, to be honest. Um, if you're comfortable with the picture looking like this, you can always export. If you want to do some more, increase the highlights, whites. You can even turn off your tone curve right here and it literally changed the preset so much. Watch this. So when you turn it off, I mean, there's a preset on it. This is the before and this is the after, but this is just um, different now because I turned off my tone curve, turning it back on to take the preset to where it was the first time. So I mean, point is, play around with it. Don't just be stuck on one preset every time. One preset might not work for a particular picture, but it will be amazing, amazing on another. So moving on. So a picture that is really, really exposed like this, let's see what works here. I think when I edited this image on my Instagram, I used the badge preset. Yes. So now. It takes down your highlights and just gives you a defined feel to the image. Um, the thing about all my presets, they actually have the sharpen increased to make the pictures, you know, crisp and so yummy. Like when you're going to, you just want to lick your screen. So what would I change in this image? I don't think I would want to change anything. Probably maybe um, increase my dehaze tab some more to make it, you know, more defined on this shadow area, to make it more defined. And probably leave it like this and take it to Photoshop, you know, to clean up the skin properly. So yeah, I mean, you can try out different images with different presets. Don't be stuck using one preset and have fun with it, to be honest. Let's see what the black and whites look like. I think I used the black and white for this one and I used the BG Vintage Black, boom. I mean, look how crisp this looks. I added a lot of noise on this image to give it that vintage old picture feel, as you can see. Um, so use this how you want and just play around with them. The BG Cold Black works amazing with this image. Ooh, you can try it out with Shadow Kill. Nah, not really a fan. It gives a weird color to the water, the blues. So we can probably try Subtle Green if it works. Oh yeah, I actually like this one. All right, so have fun with using these presets. But the most important thing, like I said before, the images have to be properly, properly shot, quality images for the presets to work, or else you'll have to be doing a lot, a lot of work. So hope you have fun with it. And now moving on to the mobile preset pack for Lightroom. The thing is the desktop preset pack and the mobile preset pack are actually the same. But what you should know is that the mobile preset pack is for everyone. You don't have to be a professional photographer. You don't need to know how to use desktop on Lightroom or Photoshop or be an expert to use this. Anyone can actually use this, which is actually the interesting part about the mobile presets, which everyone should actually get. If you're trying to make your feed look aesthetically pleasing, to have one consistent vibe, I would advise you to go for this preset. You are an influencer or you really, really focus on bringing out or putting out quality and, you know, good images on your Instagram feed or anywhere where you're posting pictures, you need to get the mobile preset for Lightroom. Like I said earlier in the beginning of this video, these presets are actually curated to work so well with our skin tone, which you wouldn't find everywhere. If you're dark and you need that melanin to pop, yo, let's get into it. Let's actually get into this. All right, so this is for the mobile presets. Once you have your presets downloaded after purchase and you have them on your phone. By the way, I'm using an iPhone, but this preset also works with Android and it's still the exact same steps. All right, so all you have to do now is click on the top right corner to save the preset, the zip files to click on save to files and save it to downloads, click on save. So all you now do is come to files and you get a zip folder included on your downloads. Depending on the phone you use, you probably now need to download and unzip in third-party app. But all I do with the iPhone is just click on the zip files and it creates a folder for you. Open up the folder and you get all your presets listed out. So now we launch Lightroom. Make sure you have Lightroom already downloaded in your phone. 
So opening the Lightroom app, my interface is pretty much empty because I haven't edited anything with the Lightroom. First off, all we have to do is import all the presets that we just downloaded. And to the top right, you see a plus sign, you click on it and it takes you to a section where you have options of album or folder. Click on albums and name it BG presets or you can name it whatever. I don't want to tell you what to do. Okay, so after creating this album, click on the album and at the bottom right, there's a plus sign again with the picture sign and you click on from files. So we're importing from files because we save them in files and you click on download because this is where we have our presets. Open up the folder and at the top right, you click on the icon to select all the presets. Make sure you have every single preset selected and you click on open. So they'll all be imported in your Lightroom. It takes about a few seconds, but hold on and they're all going to be imported in your Lightroom and listed out. All right, so after they are all imported into your Lightroom, they're going to appear as a picture file because this for Lightroom Mobile, the, the presets are saved as a picture file. This is the hard part, guys. Please don't lose me on this. Stick around because at the end of it, you're going to enjoy your presets. We have to save each preset individually yes we have to do that so we're starting with the first one this is the badge preset i know this because i created it you probably won't be familiar with the names so all you have to do is go back to files every time to see the names of each preset they are saved according to order badge is first bg cole is second bg shadow kill is third in that order so the first one being badge, you open up the picture and you click on the right top right icon and you have the option of to create presets. So for the preset name, you just name it badge and you click on the OK tab and it saves your preset to user presets. All right. So once that's done, moving on to the next image, um, this one is the BG Cold Black. So same process, click on the top right icon to create presets, naming it BG Cool Black. Save it and it also saves the user presets. So now we're going to do this for every single preset. Good luck. Okay, so once that's done, once you're done installing presets, you can now go back to your homepage library to start editing your images. This is the fun part. So I created a new album called Edits because I don't want to import pictures into my BG presets album. It's going to look messy. And I already imported some images. I asked some of my friends to send in their pictures so you understand that these are just random people taking random pictures to be able to make their pictures look nicer with the presets. It doesn't have to be professional photographers or professionally done or even professional iPhone users. This can work for anyone. This is a picture of Dodos. Uh, everyone knows Dodos. We shot her wedding in Marrakesh. So this was when she was on I think her honeymoon. So she took these images and I asked her to send them down for me to use them to show you guys how awesome the pictures are going to look with the presets so let's get into it so at the bottom you're going to see every tab you have your color effects detail optics and you have to click the preset tab and it pops up the user presets which has all your presets listed out so now you can select each preset or what you want oh i already like the bg subtle green so i think i'm going to stick with this do not forget every time you place a preset on a picture it might not come out perfect uh, it might take your exposure down just like this image i mean this is the before and this is the after um, the exposure is down so don't forget if you like the presets on your skin you can still stick with it and adjust the picture on other adjustment layers which is like probably go to light and increase the exposure bring it up a bit increase the contrast i probably want to take my highlights down i think the shadows are good but let's see what it looks like oh yeah you can take the shadows up and this is now the before image and the after so i actually like this edit um let's try with another image let's import another image in also from camera roll um let's use the Niola and click on the image and as well go to your presets option 
Let's see what presets will suit this image. Hmm. Hmm. I like this vibrant. Oh, makes it too red. Hmm. Not bad. I actually like this one. Dorothy. Oh, I actually like beige. All right, let's adjust it some more. Click on OK. Go to light. Depending on what adjustments you want to make, let's take it down a bit because the bed presets actually increases the exposure. So let's take it down a bit. And this is the before and after. So now there's a feel, a vintage looking nice retro feel to the image. And you can save it. Let's try it out on another image. Um, my guy's image, Kuwait. Um, let's see what presets will suit this particular image. Hmm, he's wearing a black face mask. I think the black and white will go real well. Let's test it out. Ooh, I love it. Oh yeah, I think. Nice. Okay, badge still works. I think, I mean, when you, once you start using these presets, you find yourself, you know, being attached to one preset, having a favorite. Um, but always, don't forget, always play around with the presets. I think I like the black and white. Let me save this in black and white. I don't think I would want to adjust any other thing in the image. This is actually nice. You can save it this way, probably crop it out, or you can now take it to Facetune. If you use Facetune for anything, you can now take it to other editing apps to continue the editing process. Let's try a few more images and I'll just breeze through it. All right, I love how it turned out. This is Obi Jacqueline's image. I used the BG Vibrant for this one and everything is all vibrant and it looks so nice. All right, let me do the last image. Um, let me use one from Dodos. This is, so I mean, this is just so you guys understand that, I mean, when you take a very, very nice picture when you travel or when you're in a restaurant, all this actually works. The presets actually works nice with like a plain background, which you probably won't see in a lot of places. Um, let's edit this one last and let's select a preset to use no it makes it lighter nope nope vibrant shadow kill nope hmm. i actually like subtle green i actually like subtle green I actually popped out her skin her melanin actually popped but i'm still going to make a few adjustments to this let's go to light Let's see if we want to increase the exposure a little bit. That's good. Contrast and highlights. I think that's about it. And now this picture just looks stunning. This is the before and after. Amazing. All right, so that's done. I hope you guys actually enjoyed the process. If you have any more questions, you can leave them down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for always sticking around. I hope you guys actually purchased the presets. Um, photographers, bottom photographers, anyone who's upcoming, you can get the Lightroom presets for your desktop to use as a baseline to grading your images. Like I said, thank you for the support. The mobile preset is for anyone. You don't have to be a professional photographer. You don't have to understand Photoshop or Lightroom. All you need to do is just have a mobile phone and have the Lightroom app installed and you can use the presets for your images when you're in a restaurant, when you travel, but always make sure, like I said, the pictures are properly taken so the presets actually looks nice when you paste them so you don't have to do a lot of adjustments. Thank you for supporting. I've said that a thousand times, but I'm sure you understand. I really, really appreciate you guys. Like I said, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section. Smash that like button, follow, subscribe, and please share this video to your friends. Tell them about the presets. They're going to love it, use it. Um, be creative with it and don't forget whenever you use the preset please tag me in your post tag hashtag badge grade 2021 and i'm going to repost them i think i'm going to create a new instagram account for the preset so we're going to be putting it out there thank you so much 
I love you guys. We have more videos coming up actually. And I think the next one we have is the wedding I shot in Cote d'Ivoire. We have tons of videos. It choke. Who they breathe? <laughs> Thank you so much for always sticking around and please give me your coins. Thank you. Love you. See you in the next one.